Graphing inequalities. Sketching the graph of a linear inequality. What are they? An inequality compares two values, showing if one is less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, or not equal. Why? Helps to figure your budget. Interesting fact. The name of a baby pea fowl is a pea chick. Now, let's take a look at the examples we're going to be discussing in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example one. Now, let's read the steps. Step one, determine if dotted or solid line. Step two, plot and graph. Step three, shade. Now, let's read the question. Sketch the graph of 5y minus 2x less than 5. Do we have a dotted line or a solid line? Let's find out. Now, we need to find two points so we can plot and graph. Let's find the x-intercept and y-intercept since they usually involve the fewest amount of steps. Let's go ahead and rewrite our inequality. Since we're finding points, you can change that sign to an equal sign if that makes more sense to you. So be careful when you plot it. You're going to keep the sign the same to help us when we plot. Now, let's find the x-intercept by substituting 0 in for y. And now we have 5 times 0 minus 2x less than 5. And 5 times 0 is 0. So now we have 0 minus 2x less than 5. Let's drop that 0. So now we have negative 2x less than 5. And now we need to divide both sides by negative 2. So now we have x greater than negative 2.5. Remember to flip the sign since we divided by a negative number. And now we found our first point. Negative 2.5 is 0. Let's plot that on the graph. If we notice a point on the graph, it has an open circle. And that is because we have less than. Now let's find our y-intercept. So let's rewrite our inequality. Let's substitute 0 in for x, and now we have 5y minus 2 times 0 less than 5. And negative 2 times 0 is 0. So now we have 5y minus 0 less than 5. Let's drop that 0. So now we have 5y less than 5. Let's divide both sides by 5. So now we have y less than 1. And now we have our second point, 0, 1. Let's plot that point on the graph. And if we take a closer look at the point on the graph, we have an open circle. And once again, that is because we have less than. Now we have two points. We can draw our line. Is it a dotted line or a solid line? It is a dotted line. For the same reason that the two points that we use to draw this line are open circle, our line is a dotted line because we have less than. Now that we've finished graphing our line, we need to decide if we shade above, below, both, or neither. So to figure out where we shade, we need to pick one point below the line and one point above the line. So we have the point 3, 1, which is below the line, and the point 3, 3, which is above the line. Now we need to rewrite the inequality so we can substitute each point in so we can figure out which one is true. Let's start with the point 3, 1. And now we have 5 times 1 minus 2 times 3 less than 5. Let's multiply each number, and 5 times 1 is 5, and minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. So now we have 5 minus 6 less than 5, and 5 minus 6 is negative 1, so now we have negative 1 less than 5. Is it true or not true? It is true. So what does that mean? It means that every point in that section makes the inequality true, which is what we want. To show that on the graph, we shade that section. To make sure there isn't any funny business going on, we need to check the other point. Let's rewrite the inequality again. Let's substitute the other point, 3, 3. And now we have 5 times 3 minus 2 times 3 less than 5. Let's multiply each number. And 5 times 3 is 15, and minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. So now we have 15 minus 6 less than 5, and 15 minus 6 is 9. So now we have 9 less than 5. Is that true or not true? It is not true. So what does that mean? It means that every point in that section makes the inequality not true. That is example 1. Now, let's move on to example 2. Let's read the question. Sketch the graph of 2y plus 4x greater than or equal to 8. Do we have a dotted line or a solid line? Let's find out. 
Now we need to find two points so we can plot and graph. Let's find the x-intercept and y-intercept since they usually involve the fewest amount of steps. Let's go ahead and rewrite our inequality. Since we're finding points, you can change that sign to an equal sign if that makes more sense to you, but be careful when you plot it. We are going to keep the sign the same to help us when we plot. Now let's find the x-intercept by substituting 0 in for y. And now we have 2 times 0 plus 4x greater than or equal to 8. 2 times 0 is 0, so now we have 0 plus 4x greater than or equal to 8. Let's drop that 0, so now we have 4x greater than or equal to 8. Let's divide both sides by 4, so now we have x greater than or equal to 2. And now we have our first point, 2, 0. Let's go ahead and plot it on the graph, and if we take a closer look at our point, our circle is filled in, and that is because we have greater than or equal to. Now, let's find our y-intercept. Let's rewrite our inequality. Let's substitute 0 for x. And now we have 2y minus 4 times 0 greater than or equal to 8. Minus 4 times 0 is minus 0. So now we have 2y minus 0 greater than or equal to 8. Let's drop that 0. So now we have 2y greater than or equal to 8. Let's divide both sides by 2. So now we have y greater than or equal to 4. And now we have our second point, 0, 4. Let's plot it on the graph. If we take a closer look at our point, it is filled in. And that is because we have greater than or equal to. Now that we have two points, we can draw our line. Is it a dotted line or a solid line? It is a solid line. For the same reason that our two points that we use to draw this line are closed circle, our line is a solid line because we have greater than or equal to. And now that we have finished graphing our line, we need to decide if we need to shade to the left, to the right, both, or neither. So to figure out where we shade, we need to pick one point to the left of the line and one point to the right of the line. So we have the point 1, 0 to the left of the line and the point 3, 0 to the right of the line. Now we need to rewrite the inequality so we can substitute each point in so we can figure out which one is true. Let's start with the point 1, 0. And now we have 2 times 0 plus 4 times 1 greater than or equal to 8. Let's multiply each number and 2 times 0 is 0 and 4 times 1 is 4. So now we have 0 plus 4 greater than or equal to 8. Let's drop that 0. So now we have 4 greater than or equal to 8. Is it true or not true? It is not true. So what does that mean? It means that every point in that section makes the inequality not true. Since we shade where it's true, it probably means the other section is true. To make sure there isn't any funny business, we need to check the other point. Let's rewrite the inequality again. Let's substitute the other point, 3, 0. And now we have 2 times 0 plus 4 times 3 greater than or equal to 8. Let's multiply each number and 2 times 0 is 0 and 4 times 3 is 12. So now we have 0 plus 12 greater than or equal to 8. Let's drop to 0. So now we have 12 greater than or equal to 8. Is it true or not true? It is true. So what does that mean? It means that every point in that section makes the inequality true which is what we want. To show that on the graph, we shade that section. And that is example two. Now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time to answer this question. And I'll show you the result in three, two, and one. Did you get it correct? Awesome. If not, there's always tomorrow.